Hi everyone! Since my mum's last appearance on my channel, we've both been testing out lots of different products. Today we're going to be talking all about fake tan. We've been trialling out five different fake tans, so today we are going to be talking about which ones were the worst and which ones we absolutely loved and would use time and time and time again, because it is so difficult to find a fake tan that works. So I know you have lots of different things that you look for yeah. when you're choosing a fake tan. Um, one of them is whether it has a guide colour, one of them is whether it's easy to apply, um, how it dries down is really mm. important because yeah. You I can't be doing with having to stand with my arms out like this for half an hour. Who can? Also the smell. Yeah. Whether it's got a really bad fake tan smell because nobody wants to go around smelling like cat pee all day and that is exactly what it smells mm. like. And then the final colour. Obviously you want to look nice at the end of it. If you're going to have to go through it, you want to look nice. So we're going to be talking about all those points. Hopefully by the end of it, and I know by the end of it we will, we'll come up with an ultimate winner. So let's get on with it. So firstly, we haven't tried out every single fake tan on the market, so this isn't the best of everything that's out there available. I picked a random selection off the shelves of different consistencies, different textures, and also different price points. So these are our thoughts on those five products. Also, although me especially, I am quite fair in skin tone, but if I was to go out in the sun, I would go extremely dark. So the fake tans that I've chosen are medium to dark or extra dark for that reason. So just explaining myself there when we talk about the colours that are chosen. Firstly, we're going to talk about saint -Pay. Now, the reason I want to talk about this one first is slightly different to all of the others. This is a rapid tan, it's an express tan. So you actually only need to wear this for three hours maximum. This is great for if you are in a rush. So you use it for one hour if you want a light tan, two hours for a medium tan and three hours for a dark tan. The one thing I will say with this, do not have this on for more than you should because um, it goes slightly orange, which is not its normal colour. So if you have it on way too long, you will know about it, in my experience. So, Mum, what did you think of this? Um, I liked it. It soaked in straight away, which is a real big plus for me. It's got a guide colour in it, so it makes it easier to apply. The colour was, was quite a delicate colour for me. Um, yeah, I liked it. I liked it a lot, actually. So this is a mousse consistency. Mm. You can apply it with a mitt, gloves or a brush. It applies really nicely. Very easy to mm. apply. You get 200 mils of this. It's often on offer, so it is quite expensive to buy at full price, but you can often find this mm. at a discount. It does have a base colour, which most fake tans do. I say most because one of the fake tans that we're going to review today doesn't have a guide colour which makes it really difficult to apply. So the smell of this I didn't think was that nice. It didn't really have a masking scent to it. It did smell like fake tan and it was slightly tacky on the surface of my skin. It felt a little bit sticky. My opinions on that is it doesn't really matter if the maximum time that you're going to have to keep this on is three hours. This is going to be excellent for somebody that wants to get up in the morning get this on, get it off and go out the door. Also great for anybody that doesn't like sleeping in their fake tans and getting all their white sheets a little bit grubby. I think it's a great product. I like it. Just a little added extra, these are obviously going to develop differently on absolutely everybody. Not everyone is going to have the same results and for my mum she got a delicate colour, didn't yeah, you? A nice did. delicate colour. Yeah. For me, I think this is this is a pretty decent whack of colour. It was a nice golden brown tan and uh, I did leave it on a little bit too long and there are <laughs> portions, especially my feet, gone a little orange. I won't do that again. 
but I would use this again. Next up, Bondi Sands. This is the self-tanning lotion in dark. This is more of a cream rather than a mousse, so it's slightly heavier in weight. You can use a mitt or a brush to apply this with. I would definitely not use gloves to apply this. We have been testing out all sorts of methods, including um, latex gloves, which some of the self-tans applied beautifully with others not so much and this is one of the ones that was definitely a big no-no. You get 200 mils of the cream and it's one of the more affordable options although I haven't seen this often on offer and some of the others are regularly on offer and brought down to this price point so just to make you aware. So what did you think of the Bondi Sands? Um, well it's got a guide colour, big plus. It felt really silky on the skin, very nice but it took a long time to dry down and I just can't be waiting around. It's quite a tacky finish it's, as well. Yeah. I, I slept in this last night on mm. my right leg mm. and all the way through the night, my leg was, it was just, it wasn't mm. sticking to the covers, but it was that uncomfortable feeling. Mm. Yeah, I, I um, felt uncomfortable yeah. waiting for it to dry down. It's got a very strong smell as well. And it went orange on me, so you can guess what I'm going to say about that. Yeah, this one went slightly yellowy on me. And I think it's really, really important that if you are going to be wearing a fake tan for up to six hours, like this one says, that you can wash it off after an hour, but you can wear it up to six hours for a slightly deeper tan. I think that the base colour that actually lands on the skin also needs to look nice throughout the day. So uh, I didn't think this one did. I thought it was very yellowy, a little bit mm. orange. I think we can both say this yeah. was not our favourite. No, I don't want to go out looking like an oompa loompa. And it's I slightly taller like like than an oompa loompa. <laughs> <laughs> so, um. so in conclusion, more affordable option. It felt really nice to apply, but it was difficult to apply because it didn't sink into the skin very well. It smelt not very nice and the end colour wasn't great either for us. Mm. Moving on to the third option, which is also the most affordable option. This is from Dove and it's the Dermaspa Summer Revived Body Mousse in Medium to Dark. This is obviously a mousse, you get 150 mils. It's really, really affordable and not only that, you can often get this half price as well. You need to apply this with a mitt though, there is no other option as far as I'm concerned. A mitt is necessary to avoid mistakes because this does not have a guide code colour so it can be very difficult to apply and very easy to go a little patchy because you've missed spots. So what did you think of this? I found it really difficult to apply because of the lack of guide colour so I spent ages rubbing and rubbing and rubbing just to make sure that I hadn't got any streaks and still got streaks at the end of it. Yeah it went very patchy as a result. The nice thing about it is that it's got a really nice smell. It's quite a soapy smell isn't it? Like, um, like the dove smell like you associate with Dove, but it did make me go very orange as well. So even though I love an affordable product, as you well know, sometimes things are worth paying for. Yeah, I would agree. Mm. I remember when you came over to the house last week <laughs> and you had, like me today, mm. I have a different fake tan on each limb. My mum did the same last week mm. and uh, I looked and just went, anything but that one. <laughs> and <laughs> Sadly, it's that one. That was this one. Yeah. So it's, it's really, really wanted to like this mm. one, but nobody wants to look orange. No. Or streaky. Yeah. It, it didn't look nice. Fourth option. This one is a regular favourite. We have used this a lot. I had a point where I was embracing my fairness, so I've not used fake tan for such a long time. Actually, I'm really enjoying having a little bit of colour to my skin. But by winter, we'll be back to the fairness of my skin again. But this is the one that I used to use all the time. And I know mm. it's one of your favourites. Yeah, it's the only one I would ever buy. Yeah, so actually. this is this is from Skinny Tan. It's the mousse in dark. So it's not the medium one that we used to use. It is the dark version. This you can apply with a mitt, with gloves or with a brush. You get 150 mils worth of product. So slightly less than the Bondi Sands and also the Saint Tropez, which are 200 mils each. This one is 150 mils. And this one 
to buy is on the top end of sort of a medium price range. However, you can often get this on offer. So it's either buy one, get one half price or buy two for £20. So you can get this and this be a really affordable product. So what did you think of this one? Well, I love it. I wished I hadn't tried one of the other ones first. I wished I'd tried this one first because I knew I was going to love it. The good things about it, it's got very little smell, it soaks in almost immediately, mm. it's got a really good colour, it's a very natural colour on me, but it's a slightly warmer tone than I remember it now, I have to say. See, this is what I think is really, really interesting. I think body chemistry has a lot to do with how a tan develops because mm. this is exactly the same product. My mum took this home and tried this out first, brought it back and I've tried it again. So exactly the same tub and I didn't think that this was warmer on me and it was slightly warmer on you. Mm, it was so slightly. So it's, it's all down to body chemistry, maybe how much product you apply to the skin. Mm. So it's going to be different on everybody, but I think the natural consensus with us both is we both really like yeah, it. really like it. And buy it on offer and it's a really good price. Yeah, it lasts for such a long time as well, doesn't it? Does. it? yeah. Now the kicker for me was this had zero fake tan smell at all. And I can't remember this having zero fake tan smell, but it has been, it must be over two years yeah. since I bought it. So I think they must have improved the formula. This smells like vanilla when it goes on the skin and it continued to smell like vanilla. I was waiting for it to smell <laughs> like fake tan and it just never happened at all. Yeah. So uh, I loved the colour that it gave. It just sank straight into the skin. There was no tackiness. I could put my clothes on immediately and the colour afterwards was beautiful. Mm. Just really, it's really lovely. like it. Really nice. Last but not least, this is the most expensive of all the fake tans that we're featuring today. It's the Amanda Harrington's Body Mousse. Now this comes in lots of different shades. I think there's three. There's Natural Rose, which is a lighter tan. And then there's Natural Honey, which is more of a medium tan. And then if you are slightly deeper in skin tone, Natural Olive is slightly deeper. So she does three different versions of the same product with slightly different colors. So this is a mousse, you can apply it with a mitt, you can apply it with gloves or with a brush. With gloves, it's not recommended. However, I did apply mine with gloves yesterday and got a beautiful, beautiful result. But uh, they do recommend that you apply this with a brush. And whilst I was doing my body, after I'd done all four limbs of different things, I finished off my body with this and used a brush and got the most perfect airbrushed flawless finish. It was just superb. You only get 150 mils of this, a little bit like the skinny tan and um, yeah it's pricey. It, it definitely is on the high end mm. but is it worth paying for mum? Well what can I say? This is the one that I used first. Okay, so I put it everywhere because I was going away. I thought oh, I'll put it everywhere. Legs, arms, face, actually, and body. And it is absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. It sinks in straight away. It's easy to apply. There's no tackiness. Honestly, within seconds, you can get yourself dressed. And the compliments I got because of my, the colour of my skin I got several comments about, that's a lovely tan, have you been away? That kind of thing. Uh, yeah, but it is pricey, but like I said before, some things are worth paying for. And if you're gonna have a fake tan, you want it to look real and not orange. And I have to say, I'm very tempted by this one. It's it, beautiful. It did look gorgeous on you. Mm. Really yeah. very, very natural looking. Mm. So I didn't think this had a fake tan smell for a few hours. It actually smells really minty when you first put it on, which I've never yeah. experienced with a fake tan before. It's really, really fresh scent. You didn't think it had a fake tan smell at all, did no. you? And yet no. after a few hours for me, it definitely did have that fake tan smell. So um, yeah, just, just beautiful, dried down really quickly. It's a golden tan, it's not an orange tan. Really natural looking, mm. love it. Mm.
really, really love it, yeah. unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's do the top three rundown because I think that's really important because mm. everybody wants different things. In position three. Okay, we agree on this, don't we? We definitely do. Mm. Uh, Saint Tropez. Yeah, the Saint Tropez um, Express Self Tan mm. is amazing if you're in a rush, if you don't want to sleep in white sheets and then have this transfer all over mm. the place. Position two. Skinny Tan. It's just lovely. So this is definitely readily available in the UK. I'm not quite sure whether it is available everywhere else in the world. I hope it is because mm. it is lovely. But in first position... Mm, it's got to be the Amanda Harrington. Amanda Harrington. Definitely number one, but so close. So close, yeah. So that's it for this video. I really hope you found it helpful. Like I said, we've not tested every single fake tan on the planet. So I would really, really appreciate it if you could list your favorite fake tans in the comment section and go through consistency, ease of application, whether it dries down really well, the end result and whether there's a smell, as well as affordability too. So I really, really love my fair skin, but it is nice every once in a while to have a little bit of a tan that looks like a natural tan, nothing orange or streaky, something that looks really natural without going out in the sun and um, not covering up with mm. SPF because that's a huge, huge no-no for me. So mm. I know that you also like to have a tan and this is the safest option. Yeah, it is it's safest. the only safe mm. option. So yeah, love it. Thank you so much for doing all, all the right. work it's because... Pleasure. It does take a lot of time, so I really appreciate it. And okay. I know everybody else appreciates it as well. So thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you all in the next video. Bye, everyone. Bye.